what the mainstream media will not tell you is that in 2015, we had a record number of environmentalists killed just for defending this planet. These are people that go out to try to save the planet, whether it's from logging or mining, whatever it may be. They take a stand, putting their life on the front lines. And 2015 looks to be a year that was just steeped in blood. At least 185 land and environmental defenders taking peaceful actions were killed in 2015. Now those figures are the highest ever documented by this watchdog group, Global Witness, that has seen a stark increase of nearly 60% from just a year earlier. And that's an average death rate of more than three people per week. If you can't see it, the environment itself emerging as a new battleground for human rights. Now, more than half of the people that were killed in all these atrocities were from just three countries. Brazil had 50, Philippines had 33, Colombia had 26 people. All these areas are home to fierce battles between the residents and big corporations that are trying to engage and environmental harming, so to speak, anything along the lines of mining, logging, plantations. Some things are needed. Others, we know, have gotten out of hand. And people are paying the ultimate price. I just want people to know that people that care, they go to the front line, Risking their lives or losing their lives. And you're, you're going to continue to see this, in my opinion, because they're not going to stop. The only way to stop them is to expose the atrocities, the companies, and the individuals behind this. It's all about their big money. It's all about paying off little militia groups to go and do the dirty work. And that's what it always comes down to. Having their henchmen go out here because they got to get a paycheck and make them crack down on the other people. While the billionaires sit back in their mansions, sipping wine and laughing. Like old Rothschild. So, let it be known, people dropping like flies on the front lines trying to protect not only our rights, but the rights of the planet. But they just want to go through and strip it of everything it has. So I would not be surprised one bit if 2016 sees an even larger increase, which means this is going down and happening right now as I speak. And I'll go out and say that you can expect to see a crackdown like, like this spike in terms of environmentalist on the protesters and on journalists. People on the front lines trying to get the truth. Because ultimately, that's what they're trying to stop. And they will stop at nothing to try to eliminate it. Especially eliminating the people across the globe. But more information here at this link. I'll leave it in the description box. It's Pindabu7.